back students uh, today we are going to discuss about the thermodynamics of wind energy energy efficiency for the wind conversion system in previous lecture uh, what we have done actually uh, we have done about the how wind blow what are the mechanism behind the wind generation and uh, what are the cold, uh, sea breeze and what are the land breeze what are the quantity of power contained in the wind all these things have been discussed in previous lecture so in this regard uh, today i am going to discuss about the thermodynamics of wind energy it is very important topic and also uh, we will discuss about the energy efficiency for wind conversion system overall uh, wind conversion system what are the exactly uh, uh, you can say that uh, overall efficiency of the wind conversion system we will discuss in this uh, lecture so without any delay let's start the topic uh, about uh, the thermodynamics of wind energy so uh, here are the statement written on the screen that you can see here energy changes form and moves from one place to place where uh, energy changes form and move from place to place but the total amount doesn't change what does it mean actually uh, here the the first law of thermodynamics tells about the energy can neither be created nor destroyed but it change its form from one form to another form here the statement is written uh, for the wind that the form of energy in, uh, especially uh, wind energy in form of uh, it change its form from one form to another form but the total quantity of wind is remain constant remain unchanged the amount of uh, uh, energy uh, the amount of wind energy doesn't change so uh, this uh, this statement uh, can be easily understand with the help of uh, this a uh, uh, circuit diagram or you can say uh, here is the basic diagram of uh, how the wind energy is converted into electrical energy here we can understand the statement very easily that uh, here uh, wind are coming from this side and it is a turbine blade you can see easily here is a turbine blade and the gearbox is uh, attached on the shaft here is the generator here is the power generation unit now you can easily understand that uh, when the wind is flowing and when it is supposed to strike on the blade of the wind turbine here is the wind turbine blade and when all the energy of wind is supposed to strike on this then what will happen the energy of wind is utilized to rotate the wind blade that will result in the rotation of the shaft it means now the wind energy is converted into some rotational energy or you can say that it is converted into mechanical energy uh, initially it was a wind wind energy the power contained in the wind was the wind power now that wind power is converted into mechanical energy or mechanical power in form of rotational energy in form of rotational uh, the torque is uh, produced on the shaft now this rotational energy will now move to the next stage which is called the generator shaft and uh, here is a generator or alternator is placed and uh, the shaft of the generator is now is connected with the shaft of the wind turbine here a gearbox is used basically gearbox uh, uh, used just to transfer the power from one shaft to another power when when they are placed very close so uh, gearbox is simply used to just connect the shaft and just to transfer the power from this shaft to this shaft so here uh, the wind power is converted into mechanical power and this mechanical power is now available at the inlet of generator here mechanical power is available now this mechanical power is again moved to the generator and the generator will convert this mechanical power into electrical power with the help of rotation of armature when the armature is will rotate it will cut the flux and electricity will produce it is the simple mechanism of electrical generation we have studied in 10th and 12th classes so here once we get the rotational energy on the shaft of the alternator then this rotational energy will help to rotate the armature of the alternator or generator that will result in the production of electricity so here we can easily understand this mechanical energy which was available on the sh shaft this mechanical energy is now converted into electrical energy or electrical power so uh, we can easily understand that how wind power is converted into mechanical power and further this mechanical power is converted into 
electric power so here the statement can be easily understand that energy changes form and moves from place to place but the total amount doesn't change the amount of energy is remain constant but it change form from one form to another form and uh, simply uh, what tells about the thermodynamics law about this uh, wind energy conversion system according to the first law of thermodynamics it tells about the total energy in a uh, in over a period of time the total energy which are supposed to uh, went to the turbine blade for a period of time that is that will be the power energy per unit time we can say that total energy over a period of time will be known as power went to the wind blades that must be equal to energy out over a period of time means the power, the energy for a period of time is uh, Uh, coming or striking on the blade is supposed to be must equal to that energy out from this blade over a period of time this tells uh, uh, the about how uh, this should happen according to the first law of thermodynamics that the energy in that must be equal to energy out for the period of time let's see uh, whether this statement, uh, statement is uh, exist or not wh whether this uh, 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 condition will satisfy or not in case of wind energy conversion system let's see in the next slide what is happening basically uh, here we can see that it is the simple arrangement of uh, wind energy conversion system into the electrical energy or into the mechanical energy here is the um, incoming air or incoming wind wind which has the higher velocity it is basically it is the uh, cross section area of the wind blade on which uh, air is supposed to strike just to rotate the windmill windmill blades here is the wind turbine <laughs> at the inlet the velocity of wind is very high at the inlet velocity of wind is very high so that we, we will have uh, more kinetic energy at the inlet of the wind turbine we will have more kinetic energy now when this higher velocity wind will strike to the blade of the turbine then what will happen this will rotate definitely this will rotate and we will get some mechanical output in form of energy out this this will give you some mechanical output in form of rotational energy that will be further utilized to rotate the generator shaft just to produce electricity here what we have seen that uh, all the kinetic energy is not converted into mechanical energy because uh, it is not possible to convert all the wind kinetic energy into mechanical energy here the statement is written uh, no no machine no device uh, exists on the face of earth that is 100% efficient no mach no machine exists that which convert 100% energy uh, from one form to another form there must be some losses occurs or uh, in all devices in all machines in all equipment there are certain certain category of losses there so 100% conversion is not possible that's why the statement is written in the red font it is not possible to convert all the wind's kinetic energy into mechanical energy some energy must remain in the air leaving the turbine means whatever the kinetic energy is coming from this side uh, is supposed to strike on the blade that is okay it will rotate and will produce some kinetic energy but some energy will remain in the air some energy will remain in the air and here you will see that you you can see easily that uh, the lower velocity means the air which are coming out from the wind turbine wind blade they will have low velocity low velocity that means they will have less kinetic energy means higher kinetic energy uh, wind will strike to the wind blade and that will uh, rotate the wind, uh, wind turbine shaft then we will have some some energy in the air that will uh, easily shown on the uh, diagram that there are some air which have less velocity means they will have some less kinetic energy it means the total conversion is not possible so that's why here it is clearly uh, written it is not possible to convert all kinetic energy into mechanical energy the energy out is the energy converted by turbine blades into mechanical energy the energy out what what i have said in uh, earlier that this energy out on the shaft that will utilize to convert into electricity because uh, this shaft uh, previously we have seen here this shaft it is the uh, the the energy out here 
this is connected to the shaft of the generator so this and this energy out will be utilized to uh, connect the generator and will convert into the electrical energy this is all about the thermodynamics of the wind energy so hope you understand uh, what does the meaning of thermodynamics of wind energy in case of uh, thermodynamics of wind energy when we talk about the thermodynamics of wind energy this just simply uh, remember the statement that the kinetic energy coming to the wind blade is converted into uh, kinetic energy out which is utilized uh, uh, sorry sorry you can say that the kinetic energy coming to the wind blade and that will convert it into mechanical energy uh, which will further utilize to convert into electrical energy so in case of thermodynamics of the wind energy is simply a statement which is written here energy changes form and moves from one place to another yeah, you can easily understand with the help of this diagram that how energy changes its form so this this was about the basic basic fundamental of uh, thermodynamics of wind energy now the most important thing is uh, wind turbine efficiency here here we are we are going to discuss about the overall efficiency of the system we are not just giving uh, the uh, concept of efficiency of the wind turbine here here basically we are discussing about the overall efficiency of the system means overall why we are uh, using the word overall because here are three individual efficiencies involved in the system the first one is the efficiency of uh, turbine blade wind turbine and the second one is the efficiency of uh, mechanical equipment means gearbox is attached and the third one is the generator so uh, here are three individual efficiencies involved so let us understand how we can find that overall efficiency of wind turbine system or overall efficiency of wind energy conversion system basically the word is exactly uh, correct that overall turbine efficiency or overall efficiency of wind conversion system so uh, we can see here overall efficiency cp is equal to efficiency of turbine into efficiency of uh, mechanical equipment efficiency of electrical equipment all three efficiencies will be multiplied then you will get overall turbine efficiency overall efficiency of the wind conversion system so here we can easily understand what is the turbine efficiency uh, the wind wind energy is coming from this side we can see that it has certain power wind power into the turbine then how much power is converted into mechanical power or how much power is converted into final output at this shaft the ratio of this this conversion the, the, the ratio of this output to the uh, supplied input will be known as turbine efficiency now when we talk about the efficiency of mechanical gearbox definitely the amount of mechanical en energy is uh, uh, is available at this point or at the inlet of the gearbox or the uh, uh, this portion of the shaft that is supposed to convert it into the final uh, mechanical energy which will be available uh, to the generator now here uh, we can see there are the various losses because it is placed it is uh, mounted on the bearing there are certain uh, friction bearing loss uh, friction losses all the if if we uh, include all losses then definitely the gearbox will not transfer all uh, mechanical energy to the generator shaft definitely there are uh, certain losses so the efficiency of mechanical uh, gearbox will be considered at the output available at this shaft to the the mechanical energy available at this shaft the ratio of uh, the energy available at this shaft to the in mechanical energy available at this shaft so this ratio will be known as mechanical efficiency and in case of uh, uh, electrical generator when we talk about the uh, electrical efficiency definitely the generator will also have uh, various losses uh, there is uh, winding uh, windage losses bearing losses electrical resistance there are uh, various losses uh, in generator so if we uh, remove all losses then we will get the efficiency then how how it will uh, will be con uh, calculated the efficiency of the electrical equipment that the power output or you can say that the electrical energy generation electrical energy generation with respect to the total mechanical energy available at the inlet of generator so this ratio will be known as this ratio is totally known as the electrical efficiency of the equipment electrical efficiency of the generator 
सो पावर आउटपुट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टोटल मैकेनिकल एनर्जी अवेलेबल टू द जनरेटर दिस रेशियो इज कॉल द इलेक्ट्रिकल एफिशिएंसी सो हियर आर थ्री एफिशिएंसीज टर्बाइन एफिशिएंसी मैकेनिकल एफिशिएंसी एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल एफिशिएंसी एज वी ऑलरेडी नोज अबाउट द इनपुट एंड पावर इन एयर पावर विंड पावर इज इक्वल टू हाफ रो ए वी क्यूब एंड रो इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ एयर इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया ऑन विच एयर इज सपोज टू स्ट्राइक दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया ऑफ द विंड ब्लेड एंड वी इज द वेलासिटी ऑफ विंड इट विल गिव यू द टोटल पावर in wind we have already discussed in the previous lecture that how the power uh, in wind is calculated so uh, cp cp can be calculated as p out upon p p out means the total power output total power output from the system means overall system the total power output here is the electrical power with respect to power available in wind means the ratio of power output to the power input will be known as overall efficiency of wind conversion system so uh, by this formula we can also calculate the how much power is available at exit of the generator and, uh, uh, or you can say that how much power we are getting from the system that efficiency of turbine efficiency of mechanical equipment efficiency of electrical uh, generator into power input if we know uh, the efficiencies of all the uh, equipments all all the segments all three devices then we can easily calculate how much power we are going to get from the system if you know the the how much efficient is the wind blade a uh, system or how much efficient is the gearbox and how much efficient is the generator then we can easily calculate the power output what what quantity of power what amount of power we are going to get from the system so this was the basic basic uh, basic idea about the how the power uh, contained in the wind and how it is efficient how the efficiency is calculated what does meaning of the what, what does it mean about the wind turbine efficiency or overall efficiency of the wind conversion system hope you got the uh, basic funda of the wind wind turbine efficiency and thermodynamics of wind energy system so uh, we will meet you again in the next lecture with uh, with new topic of the subject wind energy till then take care goodbye